second. Hi guys, welcome back to 34th part of the Arduino tutorials and also the third video on joystick module. In the previous videos, we have already worked and understood the basics of this module. Extending that, also try to control the brightness of the LED based on the joystick movement. So in this video, we'll be controlling the servo motor with the help of joystick. For this tutorial, you need an Arduino board, one joystick module, a servo motor, and we also need a external 5 volt supply. In my case, I'll be using this waste mobile charger and some jumper wires. Moving to the connections, the VCC and ground of the joystick goes to Arduino VCC and ground. Since we'll be controlling a single servo motor, we need only one axis from the joystick. So I'll use this X axis, which will be connected to Arduino A0 analog pin. On the servo, I'll connect this signal pin to Arduino digital pin 3. The positive and the negative terminals of the servo motor goes to external 5 volt supply. And also make sure you connect the ground terminals of the supply and the Arduino together in common. For your reference, you can check the circuit link in the description box. Coming to the code, we'll be using the same code from the previous joystick basics tutorial which I have already here. To the same code we have to add the servo logic. For that first you have to understand the basics of the servo motor and the functions used to control it. I have already made a separate tutorial on that. Please refer that before continuing here. We'll start adding the servo part. First, we have to include the servo library, which is servo.h and create an object of class servo. I'll give the name as S1. So we have connected to pin 3. So there is a function for declaring the pin connected. That is attach function and the argument will be the pin, which is 3. So moving on to the loop, here we have the x-axis values stored in this variable. So we need two conditions. One is moving the joystick from the default position to forward or the right you can consider. And the other condition is moving the joystick from default to left. So I'll open the serial monitor and show the values first. We'll only concentrate on this x-axis values. So by default it's around 500. So moving the stick towards right, the values are going to 1022 and towards left, it's decreasing to zero. So we will add two conditions. One is if the x-axis values are greater than or equal to 550 and one more condition is the same x-axis values are less than or equal to 500. First we'll set the servo shaft to zero degree in the initialization or the setup. So I'll declare one more variable called position which is set to 0 by default and will move the servo shaft to 0 degree using servo dot right. So here I'll pass the position 
as argument so this is inside the setup so coming to the loop if i have pulled the joystick towards right then it will enter into this if condition here i'll increment the position in steps of 10 degrees so this degree you can update anything so more the degree the servo shaft moves faster and now write this updated position as we know the servo motor rotates from 0 to 180 degree so here since we are incrementing we have to stop this once our degree reaches 180 so i'll add one more condition if my position or the degree is less than or equal to 180 similarly we'll write the logic for left side movement of the joystick here so here my position will be reached to 180 so in this loop we have to reduce it by 10 degree every time and same way we'll move the servo by this updated position so the lowest angle the servo can go is zero degree so we have to add one more if statement to check if the position has reached zero degree so that is position greater or equal to zero then only this decrement will happen once it reaches zero this exits out of this if statement so that's it the logic we'll upload this and see how it works so after uploading the code it goes to zero degree by default so moving the joystick towards right so it reached 180 degree and again back to zero degree you can also move to any degree based on your requirement so as we can see here the servo shaft is moving at slower rate so as I said before you have to change this increment or the decrement step so instead of 10 I'll make it 20 even at the decrement so and uploading again comparatively it's better and moving faster so that's all for this video you are using the same concept we will be also making a servo and the joystick based robotic arm so stay tuned for that and if you have any doubts in this video let me know in the comment section below for code and circuit diagram link will be available in the description box thank you for watching and i'll be back in another interesting video